For your consideration today is Bounce, one of my personal favorite maps, and actually one that I've actually already covered for the series, but we're going to be redoing it as well as every other map that I've covered so far, so let's go. So, as you're going to see here, move out of the way, Scout! So, you have two sides of this map with a few areas in each. We'll start with this side. Um, as you can see here, you have a building on this side, which could, um... Be really helpful as this leads into multiple different areas. I'll show you what's down this little area here in a second. Um, I don't know why I keep saying area, don't mind that. Uh, if you go up here, you can find some nice goodies in here. Uh, shotgun, which is always handy. I never leave home without it. Some health. You get um, a single little charger in that corner. The bots here aren't the smartest sometimes, as you can see. Yep. If you go down here, you get the revolver. Very important, very important. And you get to see why this map is called Bounce, because there are a few of these things located on the map, where if you've never used them before, you can jump up real high with them. And I would not recommend playing this map with the realistic damage setting on, because basically if you miss jump a time one of the jumps with that, um, with that setting on, you fall and you die immediately. So, so that's no bueno. I, I'm not okay with that. So up here, I will also show what's down here in a second. You got the rocket launcher here, which can be very effective from up here, especially if you pick up some rockets that are contained in here. You can start raining some hot death on these suckers from all the way over here. Though you might want to start moving around eventually as people are going to probably notice you firing that. Now on this side, on both sides are these ledges here, which you want to take note of. Because up here you can get a gluon gun, and you, it's a nice easy way to get onto the wall here, which we'll take a look at later. Um, the ledges are a bit more hidden on the other side, but um, they're here, and uh, don't forget about them. I feel some people uh, more casually playing this map are going to be forgetting about them. But if you're trying to actually like survive, these could really help you as they can get you quick um, escape. More so on the other side, as we'll see, though. So let's go take a look. Let's go grab some health first. Let's go take a look down here. And as you can see, this leads into what looks like a little sewer area. And just some water. But this is actually very important because if you look, there is the Egon. And it's not quite as effective as it is in some other maps. Like, obviously, if you can get it and take it up with some ammo, you can get some nice kills with it. But the uh, ammo for it is spread a little bit differently than some other maps, so I don't feel the it's as useful as the gauze here. Especially if you're good with aiming with the gauze and gauze jumping. The ma the acrobatics you could do to get around here are freaking nuts. Anyway, anyway. Going into here is those rockets I brought up earlier, as well as the wall. There's that ammo for the gauze and Egon I brought up. And like I said, it's a little bit displaced from the uh, Egon, so that's why I said it's not as useful. It's more useful for the gods here because it's not only is it closer, but the gods just works better at in this map overall. Though if you get up to this area, if you stick around this area with, well, my jumping is usually a little better than this I might add. If you can get up to this area here with the Egon and stick around and control it, you get some nice kills, but it's still not as efficient as it usually is. But coming over here, jump up here, which you can get up here using this if you really want to. Uh, there is this ladder here. And this gets you way up high and is where you can get the crossbow and do some sniping. Uh, either, like, you know, the revolver is good here too, I might add. Um, if, if you can get it and survive and get up here, uh, you can get some nice um, revolver kills. But if you're closer, there is the crossbow to consider. Um, let's go back down to the main area. You get some more health, some more pickups. The health in um, the health in this area is a little weird because there's one here and here, a little bit hidden if you're not paying attention. There's your first ledge up here with some more health and armor, uh, even more health. But there's this ledge I was talking about earlier, one of the other ones, and there's actually also this right here. If you really know how to pull off your jumps, and I'm probably gonna end up messing this up a few times. If you can really master your jump, and it's a lot harder than it looks, 
My mastery of this game's fucking physics isn't as good as it used to be. Oh, I'm gonna die now. Yeah, there you go. If you do that just right, you had to do that kind of right at- Oh, fuck! <laughs> you had to do that kind of right at the corner of that, um, whatever the hell these are, abscess is, whatever you want to call it. And this is a really helpful little area here because you can hide. P people aren't going to be always looking up here, so this is another great sniping spot with the revolver, the gauze, or the crossbow. And also a convenient way to get up to here, which I'll show off later. But, not only that, there's this ledge here. You gotta be careful. If you jump here, um, you can get up to not only here, but another ledge that leads over here, which I actually just forgot, and gets you straight to the rocket launch area. And, you know, if you don't have the gauze, these are how you get onto these ledges. But obviously, gauze jumping in this map can really give you the benefit of the doubt. Or, benefit of the doubt. Pfft, wrong phrase. Can really, like, give you the advantage. Because you could get up these ledges far more easily than using these. And it especially works well when you're only playing with so many people. Um, you get a bunch of explosives up here, so this is some good trap laying. Like, you know, doing stuff like that, even. Just like a cursory throw. You might end up, like, you know... Causing some pain, as you can see, so keep that in mind. Now, leaving down here... You have this area over here, our final area of the map. It's this little tunnel here. Get some more nice pickups here. You got a little water area here, which is obviously separated quite a bit, but you'll find yourself spawning here quite a bit. I always find myself ending up here. Don't discount it, because you get the fucking long jump here, and looking up here, if you can get the... Uh, Hornet, which isn't too useful here, but, you know, don't discount it in, a, like, a panic. Coming through here is the... Another little water area. Um, you get some nice supplies in the water there. You get some ledges for, you know, to keep things interesting. You also got more ledges up here, but these hide the good stuff. You can get one of the, the map's other revolver and some snarks, which you could use here to get a quick kill if people are... To be mucking about down here. Or you can use them in one of the other areas. Good stuff. And finally, it leads into this right here where you get the map's only SMG. Which, if you can pick up the grenades from over there, the SMG grenades from over there, you can really rain some hot death on the people. But I always felt this is kind of an odd spot for that. You, you'd think they would put it more um, in like one of the open areas down here. But, you know, it is what it is. And that's about it. It's obviously not as open as, uh, or uh, big and open, like, you know, complex as boot camp. Uh, which is why I like it, because it's got a lot of options still while being relatively open and straightforward. Um, works great with the uh, 8 to like, kind of 12-ish people, a more mid-sized map. And yeah, let's go. Oh yeah, quick thing I forgot to mention, uh, this map was apparently made by three people on the Valve team. Uh, John Guthrie, Guthrie, I think I'm saying that right. Dave Riller and Doug Wood. Um, I don't know who did what, if like one started and then finished up from the other, um, or like if they all worked on it simultaneously. I'm not sure, but you know, those who are, who's been credited as the authors of this map, just so you know. That was a lucky shotgun shot there. Then again, what's his face here? The scout soft him up for him, so, oh well. Yeah, don't stick around too long in that water area if there's, like, more than, like, one person in there. Because, you know, the pistol shots are just gonna go nuts and you're gonna probably end up dying. There was this ledge, too, that I forgot to bring up. Could be helpful with one, like, when you have some of the explosives. Oh! Oh! Oh, I think that was a headshot! Oh, my goodness. I'm never gonna do that again. Eh, well... Who set this long-ass board here is simply beyond me. Like, you know, I know why it's there. It's for the map, like, the flow of the map so you can get across the bridge here or the building to up here. But, you know, what specific person in Black Mesa would, like, just set this long-ass board as the only way to get across there? Like, I would assume this is supposed to be taking place um, after the invasion started. But I don't know. It doesn't seem that smashed up yet, so... Very interesting. Maybe it's for the maintenance workers. Who knows? Obviously, controlling this area could be really helpful because you have both the e the uh, 
Egon and the um, RPG here, especially when it's a smaller match, definitely you want to hold this area as long as possible. And uh, yeah, Bounce. Um, one of my favorites, though, if I have a very minor nitpick, I wish there was a more shotguns and more SMGs, but really minor, good stuff.